Welcome back to Somerset Place for part two of our Overseer's House videos. Last time, Krista covered the role of the Overseer on the plantation, especially in the early years. As we move into the antebellum era, we have record of three Overseers during Josiah Collins III's ownership. The first was Joseph Doctrine Newberry from 1839 to 1853. Joseph was a widower with three children when he married Elizabeth Anna Elder of Brooklyn on December 26, 1838. Eliza was a widow in her own right and had six children with Joseph by 1860, one of whom passed away in July 1853. Neighbor William Pettigrew wrote that, quote, Mr. Collins's overseer, Mr. Newberry, lost his son Theopolis a few days since, who was said to have been his favorite child. The Newberries lived in two rooms of the overseer's house, which was adequate lodging for their socioeconomic status. Joseph also earned a regular annual salary of $350, paid in a lump sum in December. One of the luxuries of working on a large plantation was that the Newberries had access to the Collins' credit lines, enabling them to purchase goods and supplies which were deducted from Joseph's salary. Eliza was able to order calico, cotton, crinolines, yarn, shoes, and other items from fashion centers like New York. These luxuries of housing, wealth, and material culture gave the Newberries and other overseers at Somerset Place an elevated status compared to most plantation overseers, who are usually from the lower class. Nevertheless, the Newberries were still influenced by the plantation's strict social hierarchy. Joseph and all other overseers at Somerset Place lived along the street, emphasizing that they were below the Collins family and professionals like the tutors and ministers, but also above white tenant farmers and the enslaved community. Joseph and subsequent overseers also needed permission to enter the owner's compound and the Collins family home, where they used the service porch and entered through the butler's pantry to access Josiah's office. During his tenure, Joseph Newberry was the subject of a purported poisoning attempt by enslaved people in 1852. We don't know if there was any truth to this rumor, but Josiah believed it to be accurate. William Pettigrew shared his opinion of the matter in a letter, writing, quote, that his overseer has by some means become odious among the Negroes and that several of them have attempted to take his life. Josiah immediately sold 16 enslaved men, women, and children to a slave trader who took them to the Deep South, forever separated from their families at Somerset Place. The following year, Joseph Newberry moved back to Pea Ridge with his family, and by 1860, he enslaved 10 people on their farm. He was replaced as overseer at Somerset Place by Henry Woodley from 1854 to 1856. During his tenure, neighbor Jane Pettigrew closed one of her letters with, quote, the horn has blown at Mr. Collins's, the bell has peeled out 10 o'clock here, referencing the horn that the overseer blew to alert the enslaved community. Woodley was replaced by Lloyd Bateman from 1856 to 1864, who was the last full overseer at Somerset Place. During the Civil War, he accompanied the enslaved people sent to a new plantation in Franklin County, nicknamed Hurry Scurry. As the overseer there, Bateman struggled to turn the undeveloped property into a productive plantation, and the new environment proved to be unhealthy and dangerous for the enslaved community. Facing these bleak conditions, five enslaved people tried to escape to freedom, but were captured. One of the slave catchers wrote to Josiah that, quote, my only fear between ourselves is that Bateman will be too severe with those Negroes, for I was there yesterday and he seemed very angry with them, and he said he had already struck one 200 lashes. These five people were the last recorded freedom seekers from Somerset's enslaved population, and their daring escape illustrates the severity of living conditions under Lloyd Bateman. On our next YouTube video, we'll discuss the under-overseers and also learn more about the original and reconstructed Overseer's House. Until then, be sure to subscribe and thanks for tuning in.